Welcome to another Tips and Tricks. Have you left for vacation and realized you forgot to turn off the equipment and lock the doors? In this video, we'll show you how to create a calendar and link it to the schedule. To create the calendar, we'll go to the Manage button and we'll choose Create. Now, we're going to select calendar as a type of object. We're going to name the calendar. We'll call this one Holidays. Now we'll say Create. When you create this calendar, you'll notice that the format for the date is on the screen. You always want to have your schedule modified as a date after the current date. If you try and do it before the current date, it'll ignore what you put there and will not run. For instance, let's look at May 31st. We'll add an entry and we'll select from the calendar, May 31st, as a single date. We'll give it a description of Memorial Day. As you can see it highlighted, Memorial Day is on the calendar. You can go through and select other dates. Maybe it's Christmas, New Year's, dates that you know you'll be out of the office, or dates that are always going to be holidays. Now, let's go edit the schedule. We'll find the schedule that we built earlier. Now we want to modify it by clicking Add Schedule again. Now, this time, we're going to say click on the reoccurrence. It's going to be a calendar reference. As you can see, we'll put another description in here, and we want our time to be outside the normal runtime. If normal runtime starts at 6 in the morning, we would want this to start at 5.30. If our end time is normally 6.30, we would want this to end at 7 o'clock. The calendar is titled Holidays, and the value is now going to be off instead of on. We want the equipment to be off during this time period. This also allows us to select a priority at which this calendar would influence the schedule. It defaults to 8. If we change it to 4, that would make this a very important alarm. It would override anything else that may be affecting this calendar. We will save it now. And now, to verify that this calendar is now part of the schedule, we can go to the details. You'll notice that under the event schedules, it says holidays. And since it's a calendar reference, the time that it starts and stops are the values that will list it as on and off. Thanks for watching this Setpoint Systems video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. If you'd like more content like this, let us know in the comments below.